Hey, this is Charles Onyet with IGN. I'm here with Nick Colon. Hey, everyone. Um, and we are part of the PC team here at IGN. And this is a very exciting time to be a PC gamer because one of the biggest MMOs pretty much of all time is about to come out pretty soon, uh, The Old Republic, which is what I'm playing right now, um, which is uh, scheduled to launch in December. Uh, the official launch is the 20th, and I think if you have early access, it's the, uh, the 15th. I believe, Nick. Yeah, is, that, is that correct? That's what we've heard so far, yeah. Okay. Um, so, at, at, I don't know how much uh, exposure you've had to this game so far. It's it's pretty familiar if you played like World of Warcraft or something like that. Uh, same kind of style. Uh, you can see him just going through the, the skill bars, triggering various abilities. I'll go through what my, what my class can do uh, in a second. I'd just like to point out that those are called vine cats, and they don't look like cats at all. Uh, I think that's a subjective question, to be honest. Um, you'll notice these, I mean, yeah, so you go up, you loot corpses, corpses stuff like that. These uh, yellow beams, uh, all corpses have little beams uh, that indicate they have loot. Yellow means they just happen to have a quest item. I'm so. just going to go ahead and coin the term loot saber right now. That's what the yellow beam is, is called now. Very good. Nice. Okay. Loot saber. I hadn't actually thought of that before. Um, so my, my character, I'm playing an Inquisitor. So each, and this is on the Empire side, on the world of Dromund Kos. This is, uh, I'm level 10 right now. This is after, beyond the initial starting zone. So I have my companion. You get the companion in the, in the story quest line um, who will run around and fight for me. I can dismiss or summon or anything like that. He'll help out. Um, I also have basically a saber strike here, a shock spell, um, thrash that uh, does two weapon hits. Uh, and various other electricity uh, spells, including uh, Overload, which is nice for entering a group. This is just a single target, but if I use Overload, it should do knockback. Yeah, so that's good for running into a group of enemies, just because I only wear light armor. Um, I don't necessarily want to be taking on a whole bunch of stuff at once, but I can do a lot of damage pretty quickly uh, by using all these electricity spells. Um, and then at level 10, uh, with every character class, there's another quest item. Uh, you get a chance to, to specialize. So that's what I sort of have down here. I have Dark Heal, which is just a, uh, a healing spell. There you so go. So dark. It's, it's a very dark healing spell. Um, and then Lightning Strike, um, which, is, uh, which is more damage, basically. Uh, where do I want to go here? I'm going to go over in this area. Um, so I could have gone a different route with my, uh, with my class specialization, but I chose Sorcerer which is basically the, the magic focus, and in this case, uh, the healer. So this is basically the Empire's uh, healer class. On the, on the Republic side, you have the Consular, the Jedi Consular, who is also the sort of magic user equivalent. There's, now, there, there are also uh, two other healers, one for each side. The Bounty Hunter has some healing ability, as does the Trooper. Uh, so if you don't want to play someone who is so sort of dogmatic, yep. you don't want to play a Sith or a Jedi, you can always still play a healer as a trooper or a bounty hunter. Yeah, and this is all this is all super light armor stuff. I'm buffing, uh, my, my class stat is basically willpower. That's what I want to, to boost, which will bring up healing power, force critical damage, uh, and force, uh, what was that? Oh, damage bonus, so. So pretty much everything you want. Yeah, pretty much everything I want is tied to that one stat. So I, I also have like endurance that basically has to do with health, but my class stat is essentially willpower. Mm -hmm. Every uh, class has their own single stat that they really want to focus on. Yeah, it's on. like if I was a if I was a trooper or a, a, a bounty hunter on this side, it would it would be aim, which has to do with ranged uh, damage bonus. But yeah, in this case, it's it's willpower. So that makes like the type of gear that you eventually want to get uh, pretty simple. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, you're, you're just basically looking for that one stat. Um, I will point out, I'm not auto-attacking here. I'm actually pressing the buttons to do every attack. And uh, every attack I pull off, uh, at least the special ones, consume force, which is my, uh, whoops, which is my little recharging uh, resource here. I do, uh, the, uh, the electrocute spell I've been using does have a little bit of a stun effect associated with it, as well as the shock. It can stun as well. And if I want to use some crowd control, I can do whirlwind. Uh, which if I channel here, will uh, will set them in in that shock state. So that could work for group encounters and things like that. If I just want to keep somebody out of the fight for a little while, while the rest of the team sort of goes in and does damage. Um, I also have a, a buff here, which I probably should have had active, but I not. Uh, let me just kill this guy first. Uh, mark of power that increase. It's a. Uh, oh wait, I know I did have that active. It. Uh, <laughs> walls. 
uh, increases stats for uh, for a little while. So pretty much all of all the stats. It's a really good universal buff. You can put it on everyone. Yeah. So you wanna you wanna keep that up at all times. Uh, my quick travel here, I can I can move around to different areas of the map if I wanted to real quickly. Uh, there are also speeder bikes that you can use to get around. These are all little travel points that you can find on the map. One thing I like about this map, if you start moving, it goes translucent. So you can actually move around and highlight things on it um, while you can actually see what's going on. So you don't run into you know, a giant um, group of enemies while you're trying to figure out what's going on. I also really like the style of this zone. Um, the Empire stuff seems to be more stylistically interesting, at least in the early levels, than the, uh, the Republic gloomy. stuff that I've yeah. seen. It is gloomy, but <laughs> it's, it's appropriately Empire. It feels uh, oppressive in all the right kinds of ways, while still being slightly cheery because, you know, it's a forest. Forests are nice. Um, Basically fighting mutant elves there. <laughs> yes. Um, and as I should point out, with the specialization... Uh, hold on. Kill this guy. Do some lightning, nice lighting effects on the lightning. Also, in terms of effects, uh, you, you get the nice cloth physics you can see on, on Chemval here. Take a good look at his groin. Yeah. It's, it's flopping around a Basically, lot there. But also in, in my, my skirt that I'm essentially wearing here, uh, you know, you get the little bit of uh, uh, cloth movement there, which is uh, kind of a nice detail. Yeah. Um, anyway, sorry. So let's I see wanted, the skill want, tree. Yeah, I wanted to pull up the, the skill tree. So this is for the sorcerer. So you get the three branches, um, corruption, which is sort of the healing line, which when I eventually start playing for real, not in the beta, this is what I'm going to, to build out. Um, and then you can also do damage and more damage. And I believe one of these is direct damage and one is more damage over time. Yeah. But for now, I'm going to put something into force critical chance by 1% increase as a passive that is always useful so I'm going to go ahead and commit that and yeah you get points as as you level up um, uh, which yeah and then you can customize your character that way um, so it's pretty standard from from, MMO, from for MMOs it's, it's very uh, safe it, it's your standard skill tree standard abilities yeah it's, bas combat. it's basically everything you would expect yeah. and then and then much later levels um, you would uh, you would eventually get a spaceship um, and get to travel around the galaxy and everything like that. I, I'm not going to unlock that for a while. You have to go through all your story quests to get that. Uh, so that's still a little ways off. So I'm, I'm basically just at the point in the game right now where I'm I'm character building. I'm finding out more about the world and uh, yeah, going through the storyline stuff, which I haven't shown here, but it's actually really interesting because you do full on uh, full on cutscenes and everything like that. Um, anyway, that's a, that's a quick look at uh, the Inquisitor with the the Sorcerer build. Um, and for a lot more on the Old Republic, you can check out IGN.com.